fish nerd. A fish nerd. A fish nerd. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thanks for joining me again. Today we're going out to Texas Aquatics again for a huge unboxing. Got in a bunch of really cool stuff. Got in quite a few rare cichlids that I've never seen or even heard of before. Got a bunch of cool, really awesome colored uh, Moscow guppies. Uh, got some koi angelfish, got some uh, sindonatus. All right, so without further ado, let's head on out there and see this amazing shipment. A new shipment from our supplier in the Midwest. Got uh, This guy has all the, the tangadikins. This is a jet black Julia Crumbus. Julia Crumbus calls them Helendi now. The biologists are renaming things. It used to be Julia Crumbus jet black Regani's, now they're jet black Helendi's. Okay. So you can't mix. I don't try to mix the Julia Malara with the. Julie Burchard, uh, the, the, the Julie Mallard with the Julie transcript is because telling them apart, but I also don't mix the the Lupis with the Burchardis with the Julies because they don't like to, they'll fight and they'll you end up with one or the other gone. Okay, here's some cyclists out of South America. These are the Epistogramma Agazizis, these are the, I'm sorry, Epistogramma Cockatoides, the double reds. These are the one of the real colorful, real mild cyclists out of South America. So the, these tanks that you see that are these heavily African cichlid tanks, are they typically Lake Malawi type tanks? Yeah, Malawi is where you see all the different colorful guys. Malawi has the most, where you get the Skittles tanks, where you get reds and blues and yellows and greens and all the different colors, those tend to be Malawi stuff. Taganikins tend to be much more sedate tanks, much more... Specie only? Well, no, you see, you'll see people who will mix them. But the thing about Tanganyikins is you don't get all the colors in there for the most part, unless you go with some of the real funky ones like the Trophius. Trophius, you get some, a lot of colors and a lot of uh, real cool stuff in there. High dollar stuff, and it's almost, it can be almost like salt water but as far as cost and expensive setting, setting up and getting it going. These are some little pieces of bright, uh, yellowy, orangey guys. Uh, these are like Tanganyikins. They call these the firecracker little pieces because they're so bright colored. They also have the real great color, but they have just so much personality to them, so much. Um, everything acts so different from each other, but you get some really funky stuff out of Lake Tanganyika that you don't see anywhere else, but you see a lot of uh, the fishes really don't like each other. There's so many fish that you cannot mix with anything else in the lake. Um, you start getting some of the, uh, the sand sifters and the, um, they, they just don't mix with anything. And there's real, some of them really tough. These are some more South American cichlids. These are the Epistogramma agazizi. These are the fire reds. These are the gold morph. You see the yellow and the purple on them. These are the electric blue jack dempsey's. This is another um, another morph of the. the Everybody's common Jack Dempsey, but somebody's figured out how to get a, a blue, blue, blue fish out of them. They make they make them super colorful, but not near as durable as a regular Jack Dempsey. They don't grow near as fast, and they don't eat very well. So you gotta be, be careful what you put them in with. Here's some Julia Regani and Dolly's, another Julia of uh, Africa, another Tanganyikan one, one of the ones that has a lot of a lot of uh, real nice straight stripes on it. These are the gold face compressor sips. These are another stick of that Lake Tanganyika. They're one of the uh, ones that have the real real sharp pointed mouth. Um, very very slow growing. These guys are probably you know six months to a year old. They go they go about an inch a year. Very very slow growing.
They each have the same thing, but the red thing can press the tips. Black Moscow got these. These are the real strong strain. These are like the, the, the uh, one of the high-end guppies that people are developing out of Moscow. White Moscow guppies. Platinum Moscow guppies. Final, final place where I get males and females. These are the dark red Moscows. Long thin albino bristle nose. These are the white crayfish. And these are the Jack Dempsey's, I think. These are the siblings to the uh, blue Jack Dempsey's. These are just regular ones that have the, the blue morph. If you want to breed the blue Jack Dempsey's, you got to have the blue Jack Dempsey's and the regular Jack Dempsey's to get, because the blue on blue, they, they don't breed properly. Oh. Something, wrong, something messes them up. How in the world would they figure that out? Because Typically, you're going to pull a blue female and a blue male and put them together to try to get blue again, and then when you do well, that, you never get them. Well, it's just such a strange morph that it's one of the things that when, when each time you break fish, you get you get wild things that pop up in there, and that, that blue jay dentist is one of the things that showed up there, and they only had one. So it's like, well, what do we do with this one? Because you got to breed them. So they're like, well, you breed one to something else that's close by to it, and you know, basically it's a sibling. So they bring a, 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 a the bright blue guy to a sibling to get him to go anything, and so you got you get a few more, a few more, a few more uh, until you breed enough of them, and then then you say, well, hey, why don't we try breeding this one onto this one here? And they realize that hey, these guys something uh, something that happened. But they originally only had one to breed anyway, so they knew that they couldn't, they had to they had to play with it anyway, and they finally they they and then they eventually figured out that even though we have a bunch of them, you can't breed them. Straight to straight, or else they don't produce properly. But that's why you gotta keep some that have the. You can't just flush the the non-blue ones. So you gotta keep some of those to breed them with, because okay. that blue gene helps them out. And these centenian cent cent centenians, shall I three inch centenians? They say they're an inch and a half long. And that's that's what's an inch and a half. Okay, this is another uh, real funky one. This is a. Another Central American cichlids. This is Thoraps lentiginosum. Another real funky uh, cichlid you don't ever see. One of those specialty cichlids. Koi angelfish. Really nice yellow on some of these. They got a bunch of bags of these guys. These are the lemon drop bristle nose. Got a little, little yellow dots on them. And Cynodonus petrocolos, which are the Tanganyika Cynodonus, Tanganyika catfish, they're the cave spawning catfish. They look similar to the Cynodonus multiplanctatus, but they breed. Uh, they're, they're more of an egg scatterer where the, instead of the cuckoo cat, so you can get bigger, bigger spawns out of them. But they're the slowest growing things in the history of catfish. Pretty much. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you've got a question you want to ask or you just want to... You just want to say something for the world to see. You just, you just say away.
If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see when I have other videos coming out. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.